Welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in with Enchantress. That's me. No babble. That's me on this evolutionary. Revolutionary, right? What's happening at the currency in time? And so I welcome all of you. And before I go in and to what this video is all about, I just want to say thank you to each of you who will be here. Um, for, thank you for your question. <laughs> thank you for your participation <laughs> on instagram because this is where this opportunity was offered um in my stories at enchantress e-n-c-h-a-n-t-r-e-s-s -E -S -S, for those of you who don't know okay so i um asked people from instagram land <laughs> if they had any questions that they didn't mind being answered on my YouTube channel that I would create a video with a secret code for each of them so that they can remain anonymous too. Like it's not about identifying you, it's about being here to help you in the best way that I can be helpful. You know what I'm saying? And so many of you I did, I printed it to, um, did post questions and were given secret codes. And so I printed it up and got this up. And I just want to say thank you. I will do this again at another time, which is why it's important for those of you that missed the bus this time around, don't next time around, because I do post a lot to my Instagram, period, and to its stories, period. So these are the people that do check out my stories that saw the time that I posted it. Um, I did it on two different days that I gave people an opportunity to um, ask if they missed out the first time around. Like, you know, things happen. <clears throat> Lots of views, you know, and things like that. So, you know, give people the opportunity to get out of their own shell, you know, and take the stick that's lodged up their own arses out and not be such a stiff bully, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to all of you. I hope that you all are wonderfully well. Um, so how it's going to go, um, for those of you that have never gotten a reading from me before and things like that, I don't need cards to read, but this is fun. So I'm gonna use cards to interpret the questions that you pose into your universal existence and receiving the mana that will be for you um, so that you can operate from your most highest of selves in using your discernment, wisdom, and um, applied science to your actions, right? Because this is how evolution um, comes into play. Right? You can have all the knowledge in the world. <laughs> but what you do with that knowledge is going to determine everything for you about what it is that you are creating for yourself. Like, yeah, you can know a lot of stuff and do absolutely shit about it. You know what I'm saying? So here's Mana <laughs> in a whole different kind of alternative lifestyle healing form. And it's one that I personally have been always drawn to and I have been doing this all my life. So um, with, without further ado, I'm gonna um, introduce <laughs> each um, person, each of you, and I'll separate it. <laughs> Everything will be time stamped once your um, your um, secret code name pops up and stuff like that, and is according to you. Um, that'll be all in the description box too. So this is the intro for those that will be here to receive their mana that they specifically asked for. Um, then there'll be those that check it out and stuff like that and might find resonance here too because there is mana here for you if you find yourself here it's the symbolic too you know the synchronicity of life and all that you do and where you be and how you align to the alchemy of the things that you find yourself experiencing and stuff or receiving right when you pray you know you have to be open to receiving the answer to your prayer 
in ways that you, the human, are currently, I don't want to say blocked, but don't see, right, in that kind of a line. So um, you pose it because you're opening the, the infinite expansiveness of this purposeful creation you're creating for yourself to be able to receive it and stuff like that. So yeah, blah, 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 right? <laughs> Great. So um, yeah, so I just want to thank each and every one of you um, for participating when you saw the opportunity to participate. Like when I, I, I know I'm always very busy and I have a lot of shit going on and you know, I'm led. Um, my path is not for, not for the week. <laughs> and um, I am honored to be able to assist the collective that desires to receive the assistance. No longer do I push myself onto people or make people have to listen to that, which leads to nothing I ever really or no, which is the only stuff I have. <laughs> but we all have, you know what I mean? So no longer being participating in the resistance part of it. If you know you want it, you have it. And I work I love working with people that love to work for themselves. You know what I mean? And to do for themselves in that kind of way. So I'm here to help that evolutionary part of you that is um is is quantum and powerful. And I'm here to remind you of who the fudge you are and how it can be for you when you kickstart your own ass engine, right? And, and get yourself going, right? Despite what the fudge is going on around you, right? Because there's something going on. So, with applied science that be in our spiritual, right? But we gotta apply it here in the 3D reality. You know, this is what all of this is about. So, alternative lifestyle of perception, perspective, um, building your own life by deprogramming and unconditioning your condition, which is your typical response system to everything. And it's identifying that and finding the resolution, the solution to any and all pollution. You know what I'm saying? So, this is what this channel's about, period. You know what I mean? Even if spirituals get into the rituals and stuff and all this, but it be practical magic in every kind of way, because that's just how I sway. I'm not any, I'm not um, tied to any kind of specific religion or ideology or way of being. It's, it's, it's evolution for me. I am a spiritualist evolutionist who uses practical tools to, to decipher and decode and uncode and utilize in my own oh, extraordinary, powerful, captivating life. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, <laughs> without further ado, we are going to get into it too. But for all of you, this is cute. Do you remember what? Well, I'm an 80s baby, so when I was in school, these kind of things were totally hip, and I used to make a lot of these. <laughs> right, so I got one. See? Now, I'm going to be picking the numbers, obviously, whatever I hear, right? Four, my dear. Right, so there's uh, eight right there, three, eight, seven, four. Four, four. One, two, three, four. Eight, seven, four, three. We go with eight. You know what I mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still here. Let's go with seven, my dears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and now we got one, two, five, six. But we're going to be invoking a lot of change. So we're going to go with five right now, okay? Because transformation is here through this transitionary time. And it might be certain kind of challenges that many of us as a collective are going through at this time in each part of our own experience. Five. Mm, it says bad fortune lies ahead. <laughs> 
Okay, bad fortune lies ahead. Okay, so when you hear stuff like that, two, what does that do? And how does that make you feel, right? Bad fortune lies ahead to, to discard that and brush that under the carpet. What that tells me and what I heard immediately is that maybe some things don't work out as you desire it to be or design it to be, but the reality of perspective and how you want, right? Um, how, how, how can you, deal with every challenge faced on authentic and true to you even if it's not the news or the way that you want it to be how can you pick yourself up from the thoughts of these things and how it makes you perceive right so it's like how do you deal with bad news without taking it so bad or personal? How do you deal with shit not panning out the way that you want it to? And shit you deserve. And not like letting it fuck up your mood. How do you take a step back, right, in something and make that into a positive, turn that into a positive? I don't like to be the bearer of bad news. I get the shit under the stick with that sometimes. But I'm learning to also not sugarcoat uncomfortable deals that are fuck. Unfortunately, we have to heal. And it's for the greater good of the whole that is us. And we meet each challenge in its part. Imagine if all of our life lessons and things that we were to experience happen all simultaneously at once. It is in its own quantum physics. Woo, mind blown you in some kind of way when you realize the impact of what I'm saying, right? Like, wow, right? But learning to like, like if you're into a strong, um, if you're into um, tarot, the tower card. Nobody likes to get the tower card, but the tower card doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It's how you are taking in the load that is being addressed here for all of you. Because there's great things to expect. Three of spades, which is three of wands, which is looking out there, out into to the horizon at the distance over there. Over there, you see that ship's coming in. Yes, that ship's coming in for me. I see. So I'm going to work on these things that I can have my own, um, that I am in responsible for creating and things like that and doing that. So let me get into each and every one of you. Let me. <laughs> okay. Challenges could be roller coaster rides. Ah, highs and lows. Okay, highs and lows. But you got to keep going. May you recalibrate in your authentic truth and do all the things that is in alignment in alchemy for you for the betterment of you and all those around you because when you are good 
everything is good news. No matter what else could be going on all around, when you good, all is good. When you good, all is good. So all got to get good. All got to get good. And that starts from here because here affects here just as much as here affects here. And so we got to tend to these things unified, my dear. It's like a freaking infinite, infinity symbol. Right? Infinity. Making that flow. Be your ultimate grow. So now you know. Right? So who are we going to begin with? Who are we going to begin with? Who are we going to begin with? Carrot cake. Carrot cake. We start with you. Carrot cake has entered the room. I am going to read the question here so that you can see for all of those that are wondering what these cards are speaking of and what messages they are to bring, okay? Carrot Cake, you asked, I know you said I shouldn't get involved with love. <laughs> did I? <laughs> what lessons must you be learning here on your own? <laughs> You say, carrot cake, you say, I know you said I shouldn't get involved with love, but I do want to win her back. Can I? Carrot cake, you can do anything that you want to do. That is not the question at hand. The question I hear, so clear too, you see, is, why do you want to win her back? Rhetorical, my dear. Rhetorical. Because rhetorical means that which the one you must answer to, you see, is the truth within. You know what I mean? Carrot cake. I hear Rumi. Do you know who Rumi is? R-U-M-I. A poet, just like I. Okay, you see? But well, we are going to pull from the Rumi Oracle to see how we're going to expand on these kind of things. <coughs> <coughs> Throat chakra clearing too. Carrot cake. Our cake wants to know about love. If they can win her back again. Of course, my friend. Of course, my friend. Of course, of course, Carrot Cake can win her back. Carrot Cake is a winner. Carrot Cake is a winner. Carrot Cake, when, when Carrot Cake puts something in their mind to do about what they want to accomplish too, Carrot Cake is going to do what Carrot Cake sets out to do. So that's not the question. Can I win her back? Where in here is there a disconnect with you, with yourself too, that questions your ability so then that which she wants you to change you question in that kind of way can I really step up to the plate so the question you asked you see has nothing to do with she can you be she wants certain kind of things so the doubt, you see, that really stems oof, 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 way low. That you must ask yourself, <clears throat> it's clear, <clears throat> clear our throat. 
listen to your heart because it's calling you on the room. But yeah, right? Can you win her back? Mm, yes, you can. Will you win her back? Mm? Will you conform to the standards that which you are demanded, commanded to rise to? Will you step up to the plate? <laughs> I didn't know we were going there. Hey, ooh me, ooh me, ooh me. It's the introduction part. <laughs> Let's introduce, I mean, that's a sign too, to introduce, to introduce. So it's like getting to know what you want, why you want, for the reasons that you want. Because when you can understand that for yourself, then you have momentum or you have, whoa, truth. Regardless, the angel Razbar, 27, 7, 8, 9. So, right, so you're rising, you're rising to 9, which is all about completions at this time, right? Like, What must be completed before 10 can begin, which is starting fresh, going back to the one. So one can start. <clears throat> All I want to know is can I win a back? Yes, you can. Will you? It's up to you. Are you prepared to do what you got to do in order to prove? Do you want to prove yourself? Do you have to prove yourself? Do you need to prove yourself? Where's forgiveness in all this display? Where is love activating? Or is it fear? False evidence appearing real. Right? Car cake. Spirit really wants you to get to know your reasons for your certain drives so that you can really do it from a wholeness perspective. So if you get into the sense of your own truth about why you want to prove yourself and do it, let's say you get to your truth and you still want to do those things, you're going to do them then because you finally got to your truth. And then if you get to that place, again, that point, and you don't do it, that's telling you something really deep that you, you, you can't, like the bad news, like hearing something you don't like and acting like you didn't hear it. I mean, let's put that over there. It's still gonna go over here. Angel Razbar, tell me the truth. I ask love, what are you? I am the everlasting life, love said. I am the recurring joy of living, Rumi. The master speaks of a den of riches where many precious jewels can be found. In abundance they lie patient and yet ready to be claimed. Go scoop them up, urges the master. The devoted ones look but cannot see. Where are these precious jewels, they cry, for we cannot find them anywhere. The master gazes lovingly at the devoted ones and responds kindly. In service, my beloveds, you shall find the jewels through service. 
For what is the soul but the finest and most precious of the heavenly jewels? What is service but the scooping up of the soul that is not that it does not lie lost nor unclean, but instead honored for all its precious worth and beauty, tended to until it becomes vibrant as a flawless ruby radiant with the joy of living. Divine contribution is offered to those who wish to contribute to the world. The great beloved sees what is in your heart, what it is you wish to offer, and is saying yes. So you are being empowered to serve, to assist, to offer a genuine spiritual contribution to this planet as you want to do, as you want to be, as you desire to be, to become a sacred hand at work for the will of heaven. Such is the capacity bestowed upon the soul that is wise and filled with love and therefore desiring to serve. To serve. You have a desire to serve. So then, do not doubt yourself, beloved. You have been blessed with this by the master to find the precious jewel of your own soul and claim it. Cast aside your doubts then. Yet, perhaps this is not easy for you to do. Perhaps you look at the world, even your chosen field of endeavor, and already you hear so many voices speaking. You may wonder if your own contribution would simply add noise to, I don't know how to say this word, <laughs> Ka cacophony or casophony or none of the above but cacophony cacophony but either way we see the word phony in there right so add to the phonies that's all we need to know the cocoon of phonies in this world <laughs> okay okay you may wonder if you can really help. Yes, you can. If you have anything genuine to add, yes, you do. Or if there's just too much noise anyway, stop it. You are light and you desire to serve. And so sometimes our desire to serve will have us serving the wrong masters, chasing after rainbows. We could chase chasing the rainbows a waterfall. <laughs> These are the analogies, but like I hear it all back. Okay, so don't go chase the waterfall. Please listen to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. I know that you're gonna have your glory another now, but I think you're moving too fast. As a natural obsession or temptation that you just can't see. She gives a love and that is body human. But all he can say is, baby, it's good to me. 
You know, and it's, again, where that song talks about a certain kind of, you know, a, well, that sentence and, you know, sex and stuff like that. And that's not what I'm saying here for you. But it came and I was hearing, too, like, you know, like I got a strong, strong sense of your truth of wanting to serve. And so, you know, this can show in your field of study, field of work and things like that, to serve, to protect and serve, right? And so it's, it's, it's like God sees your heart. God sees your soul deeper than and truer than what you see for yourself, right? At this moment in time, that here you go chasing waterfalls. A love that denies you because they want you to come and step to this imaginary plate of um, change, right? That is in their light of vision, which doesn't make it right or wrong, it just makes it there. And the whole challenge for you is to step up to that plate. Is that plate really yours? Or is it just misguided by your, your desire that is another rooted truth of yours that you're identifying of wanting to serve? And oftentimes in our conditioning, we serve the wrong masters because we come from a place that we're taught from how to be and, and these are the caretakers of we until we can take care of ourselves and you know oftentimes we behave in ways that are just you know damaging to ourselves because it's not our truth so to speak so it's like getting clear with that which you need and stuff like that okay so Hold on. You may wonder if you can really help. If you have anything genuine to add or if there's just too much noise anyway. You may hesitate and become fearful. Do not despair, my beloved. It is part of your divine destiny to add something of great value to the world. Something that has its place even amongst all that activity. Something needed absolutely in the hearts of all. That precious gift is the true silence. The true silence is peace. It is the living experience of the eternal love of the divine that asks nothing but to be received and gives of itself unconditionally. That silence is present underneath even the most rock. Even in underneath even the most of noise, right? If one knows how to access it, the true silence can only be felt through the beautiful feeling heart. When you know how to feel for it, to surrender into it, you can transmit it. You can transmit silence in many ways through the peace you cultivate in your heart, in your own daily living, through your presence, through your art, even through your voice written, sung, or spoken. Yes, even through sound, if that is your path of service. Silence can emanate through your voice to protect and to serve. And divine silence can be felt in the hearts of others. The true and great silence, as you may now realize, my dear angel, is not the absence of sound. It is the experience of the divine presence of love. So shall you trust in the wisdom of the master who bids you to serve? To serve according to the graces you have been given. Will you choose to put aside your doubts and instead believe in yourself and the power of divine love that will reach out to the world through your willing soul? Ah, yes. 
I knew your brave heart would accept the empowerment. I knew you wanted to serve more than you wanted to fear. Whatever is in your heart is the method by which the great jewels shall be collected. The master teaches us that we are built to serve according to a higher perfection. So if to dance is in your heart, then dance. Be open and free. Do not hide. Dance. If prayer is in your heart, then pray. If you can feed the poor with food, if you can give the despairing kindness, the lost your word, and those who have turned away from the great master a healing touch, then do so. Do so without doubt, without having to be the best or the greatest, or any other notion your mind conjures or others make you feel like you have to. Just be willing. Willingness, not perfection, is required from you. So then there is room for freedom to awaken in you. Willingness opens you to divine assistance and through that empowerment and even greater joy of being, of being and willing to grow within your own sacred heart. Your service can flow from simply being yourself in the world completely and utterly. You will be loved as you are, for what you are, when you are, wherever you are. Unconditional love, unconditionally, unconditionally loved and accepted. Divine love. Your radiance can become one of the sacred candles of the Holy Master. There are many candles to hold, that hold the master's light, and yet each one of them is precious beyond compare. Be such a light. Scoop up the jewels through your service, and do not tender, render yourself incapable through nightmares of false imaginings and smallness of mind. Yes, your heart is too big for your mind and it will break it open, but that is okay. Do you think you only serve love and are not also served by love? The helpers are always helped. This is love's way. Do you feel as though you are a foreigner in this land? Ah, Angel Razbar shall show you the way then. For she knows you from a long, long time ago. Though you might have temporarily forgotten the acquaintance. She is a great hostess and a guide in the turn of divine love. And she remembers you. You who are great of heart and capable of contribution. You who are now signing up for service in the great work of love. Yes, there is work for you to do. Your purpose is bestowed, serve, assist, do not hold back for any reason. Not one reason you can imagine is worthy of you. So then aliveness, so then service, so then joy. Help and be helped. That is the way for you now. This oracle comes to you with guidance. You are being guided deeper into your life purpose and divine destiny. Like a maturing adult who is ready to take on the mantle of a greater responsibility, your soul is stepping up. You are going through a process of assuming more spiritual responsibility for the honest and empowered expression of your own essence and through that, your healing presence in the world is increasing. You are stepping up and forward onto your path. This is appropriate now. It will make you more visible, but that is as it should be. 
It is not about being worth more than another. It is about the utterly sensible use of a light that is not to be dampened down by a shade, but instead be placed where it can cast its fullness so that others still in darkness may find their way more easily. This is efficient, intelligent, and sensible. Your success and growth is drenched in compassion and brings joy to the heart of the master as another and another find their way, benefiting from the light of your being. You cannot be dampened by any shade. This is the master's way. So shine true. Be humble, but not dismissive of your gifts. You deserve the best. Allow others to find their way more easily because you choose to honor the power of the great silence that emanates through you evermore as you trust and surrender to this process of transformation. This oracle brings special messages of reassurance that you are making progress and are indeed on the right path. Although it may not unfold exactly as you anticipate, it will indeed unfold. You are making a positive impact in the world more than you consciously realize. And you are asked therefore to continue, even if you don't get what you want. Do not give up. Do not turn back. Just continue. Take your steps. Focus on your journey. And know that the great master is aware of you and is sending the holy ones, including that wise ancient mother, Angel Razbar, to bring you the blessings of the true silence now. Let it clear and soothe your mind and heart and help you remember the peace that dwells within you and that all is well. Sacred Honoring Ritual. Say aloud, I am blessed to serve the great all loving silence through the presence of divine joy, grace and radiant compassion. To the master that loves me without condition, and the blessed assistance of Angel Razbar, who loves me unconditionally. I accept all help and I offer myself completely in service of, to life, to being, and to assist humanity in a practical way, according to the graces and talents I have been given. So be it. If you can comfortably place your forehead on the floor, bowing to the earth, do so. Rest there for several moments. Then you have finished your honoring ritual. Carrot cake, what I get from all of this is, sure, you can win back whom you want. But the bigger question is, why do you want? And is it the wisest for you to seek this particular partner at this time for the other path of success and growth that you are currently on in regards to your career and your, your life sustainability? Sometimes people dim our shade, dim our light by making us feel certain emotional shade. And what I get from this is your light is so needed at this time. So carrot cake, yeah, you can get whatever you want because you that person to go after what you want and to get it, because you deserve it. But do you deserve that? Do you want that? And why do you want that? What's the purpose? And is it tied to your desire to serve? And because something's not right, your, your, your conditioned need to have to fix these things. You know what I mean? All right, carrot cake. <laughs> I hope, I hope that was, I hope, I hope that was, 
helpful to you and I wish you the best in all that you do. No judgment passed. You are free to do what you want to do. Um, you know, in every kind of way. And, you know, I just feel like there's a lot of things going on for you that, great, six of vessels. And, you know, your, 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 your heart is, is, is magnified here. Like, you have such a beautiful heart, okay? And so, because you do, right, um, you want, right, eight of swords, but you got to get out of your own way. Like an eight of swords, walking away from that which doesn't serve you, walking away from 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 the idea of what you think this is this love relationship is, and really understanding it for yourself and understanding your drive behind why the strong urge or need to want to fix this, and if it's I'm in love, you see then be true and authentic to thee. And after all, you can always get back she, you know? But the question is deeper than that. It's should you? What's your sense of worth? Right? So, Kara Kate, thank you so much. So, this is just for me. Because we're turning the wheels of life at this time. And... So we are moving forward. This just smells so good. It's like my favorite. <laughs> it's like my absolute favorite. So the next, 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 next. Purple rain. Purple rain. Yeah. <laughs> purple rain. Purple rain. Hey, okay, purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain, yeah. All right, so purple rain. Hello. I hope that you are in the best of alchemy. No matter what could be happening around you. Clearly you are, because you seek the wisdom all around. Give yourself more credit. Give yourself more credit. Give yourself more credit. Okay, give yourself more credit. So Purple Rain, you asked, my life feels all over the place. Will it settle down soon? I look down. Hey, right? hostilities. Woman holding a heart. Eight, six, seven, eight. We got triple eight, so eight, eight, eight. Eight, eight, eight. Eight, eight, eight. I always say eight is great, but it's still just as challenging too because it's a lot of work that you got that you got to do, especially in the realms of the heart. And then I look over here down, and it says, "What are the dominant emotions that run your life?" Right. So, what are the dominant emotions that run my life? Right? So how do you fill your day, stress or joy, trust or anger, anxiety or peace? We have only today, right now, the journey, no goal, no destination will bring us the feeling we seek. But when we begin filling every day with that which we value most, we attract more of it. This is fulfillment. This you know. This, I know you know. This is just confirmation, affirmation into that which you do. But what are the dominant emotions that run your life? is a question that you're really going to have to chew on at this time, like chew on at this time, because there's just still something that you're focused way too much more on that hurts you. And it, it, it's like, you know, like not accepting a certain type of reality. And so the missing of the reality is what you focus on more and that's hurtful to you even though you do everything else like you know 
you're mindful, you're, you're, you're evolutionary, you, 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 you work on your inner peace, your energy, you do these things, you get it, but there's just like a disconnect somewhere and it's in the thought processes of that which doesn't serve you that, you know, even if it's silent, silent but deadly, silent but deadly, silent but deadly, like, you know what I mean? Like, right, so it, it could be in regard to love or, you know, and I'd I like to go deeper than that because it's, it's like a dissatisfaction somewhere um, in, 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 in not being content with what is being offered or here or on display, like, so it could be like even, and then there's like tension in some kind of way, like maybe lots of even fighting or something or arguing or like um, disagreement or like you know what I mean and it's and 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 each person featured here is in that eight energy of it's challenging at this time because everybody wants to just like almost give up like or like like I gotta do this to get to the nine right because nine is all about completion and then before going into the ten and starting all over again so eight is like you know like when I think about it, the eight of wands, when you're shooting out, you're shooting everything out, out into to hoping it's gonna land on something, but still it's up in the air. Everything's still like up in the fucking air. Like, like, okay. <laughs> right, blossoming abundance, women holding the heart, okay. So it's through this, I hear Rumi. So Rumi, three, right? So, you know, like, yeah, definitely. Right, so I'm gonna pull your room. Oh. Hand of Fatima. Hand of Fatima. Four, five, six, seven, 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 seven. <laughs> the hand of Fatima. The hand of Fatima. Fatima. Right, the hand of Fatima. Purple rain, purple rain. Purple. So it's turning the beat of something that has been constant, like it's like changing the beat of a song. You got to change the beat of a song. Even if it's your song, it's your song. So now you need to change the beat of the song. So it's like being with someone that, um, <laughs> that maybe it's, it's challenging to be with and, and, walk away staying or something like that or walk away from this career or walk away from from these people and, and it is a challenge but in the you're still in it right so the challenge is to rise from being in it like that right um doing the work but those that are in it too are in that same position too like everybody has some personal like work to do. Hand of Fatima four five six seven. Um, and so that's probably too your heightened intuition. Like this is where it's like a double edged sword sometimes because like um, <laughs> you stay and you you do more extra and you do the whole thing because that's part of your path too. Like the the one but still it's changing the beat of the song then. Okay, master magician here doesn't realize that they're the drummer of the drummer. So drum. Drum. Like drum, right? So. So you hum, hum. Changing the beat and the tone. Mm -hmm. And of Fatima, I can never leave you, not for a moment, not for an hour, 
You are in everything I do. You are my everything. Mm. My heart. <laughs> your heart. My drink is your sweetness. I move to your command. I am a surrendered prey in your hands, and you are my consuming lion. Your soul and my soul are truly one soul. I swear to our one soul, I long for no one but you. Disillusionment. It's a plague to your infinite expansiveness. Expansion. You stop your own infinite expansion with your limited view of something that you're holding on to. You're because you think It's like having a lot of fixed signs in your chart. Like you just see something as this, as expansive and as um, evolutionary as you can be. It's 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 still easier said than done, right? It's a certain kind of thing, and it doesn't change the good person that you are, which makes it just even more so oh, sucky because you're good. And so like, it's like deprogramming the mind that hurts you in regards to the situation. It's diffusing it by addressing those sentences, those, those, those um, sentencing. Like, I feel like it's like a death sentence. So it could be like, 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 you're the only one I ever want to be with. I just, I'm never going to find love again. Like, like believing that, like, distorted, um, misplaced fear, false evidence appearing real. Like, or if I leave this job, and this is the best opportunity that I've had thus far. And um, it's risque if I go this way and even, you know, like whatever. And so it's like limiting or because, right, like limiting still yourself from something. Okay, um, your soul in this, okay, in the garden of the grave, I am only a germinating sprout. The crown of my blooming is the desire to be in your arms, Rumi. My hand watches over you, brings you blessings and comfort, protection and grace. Radiance with divinity am I, and you are my child, my beloved, my angel and my body too. I shall never leave you. Turn your inner eye to me and see the light of my grace in your heart. You cannot be harmed, you cannot be defiled, you can only ever be what you are. Me, alive, radiant with love. You are giving birth to more spirit than you ever have held before. During such times, the divine midwife can be helpful and supportive. This is Fatima, radiant daughter of the great beloved, who reaches from the sky, who reaches up from within your body, from deep within the earth, and brings you the gift of protection, grace, and love. You are safe. You are held and you are bound within her warmth. She has received your prayers and she honors your devotion to life, to love, and to growth. She will help you. Ask for her blessing daily. You can use this simple sacred honoring ritual to do so if you need guidance on how to pray to her, but any words from your heart spoken in authenticity will suffer, no matter how simple or ornate they may be. She responds to the feeling behind the words and she responds instantly beyond time and space. In fact, she has responded even now, perhaps before you even knew she was needed. This article brings you the guidance that what is being born in your life right now, you, you can't be seen. Your thoughts? Yeah. Sorry. This article brings you the guidance that what is being born in your life right now 
in your own consciousness as a seed, perhaps of a new way of being, a new idea, belief system, philosophy, or sense of self, is going to come to maturity under the loving protection of the Divine Mother. You are also being asked to heed your intuition and instinct. Have some discernment about who you involve yourself with and how you choose to use your time and energy. Allow yourself to feel the team with guidance and comfort in you by giving yourself permission to be nurtured through your own choices and the people or situations you say yes or no to in your life. This is a way to honor her presence and allow her to help you, which she wishes to do in all ways possible. Love is all things you see, dearest angel, and that means saying no can mean saying yes to something greater. So give yourself permission to say your no and yes as dictated by your heart. This oracle also brings you the message that your body is sacred and worth your attention. You do not have to become obsessed. You do not have to push or judge your body, but you can honor him or her as a sacred animal through which your spirit creates soul and expresses itself in the world. This is a truly wonderful and amazing gift, extraordinary and yet fraught with challenge. The spirit can be powerful. Sometimes it can be hesitant too, enough to really engage with the body and come to life. There's a story that the angels sang music to the Lord, the spirit into the body, but used to its, but used to its freedom, it was reluctant to experience itself in what looked like rather confining matter. The spirit did not know that Fatima would be initiating the spirit into her mysteries through the body. She was going to be sharing the sensuality of life, the sacredness of love, the deep mystery of life, death, and rebirth, and the wonders of nature. She was going to show the divine could live not only in life, but also in flesh. Fatima holds the wildness of divine feminine wisdom and the sanctity of life. She has great gifts of ecstatic, of ecstatic presence only able to be experienced with the spirit living in the body. She will share this if you allow her to guide you. I see a lot of movement and stuff like that too, like while I'm reading this and things like that, like moving your body more, moving your body more. Like, like think of like, you know, is it um, Cali with the, so many arms and things like that, but like moving in like the sensualness, like moving, like figure eight style, like moving. And as you're moving, like creating that which you desire to see into your reality, you're moving these things. Like, you know, I desire peace, right? Bringing that to you in movement too, and just getting in touch more and if you're already doing this great this is added extra confirmation or you know to increase it more and to get more into this fluidness of your sensuality and your fluidity and your deservingness in regards to respect what you receive from those you should be receiving more from So, there's a story that the angels sang music to Lord the Spirit and Spirit. Right, the Spirit didn't know that Fatima would be initiating. Right, should I read that already? All right, Fatima holds the wildness of divine feminine wisdom and the sanctity of life. She has gifts, great gifts of ecstatic presence, only able to be experienced through the Spirit living in the body. She will share this if you allow her to guide you. Once the spirit recognizes this, even just gets a whiff of Fatima's glorious fragrance, the enthusiasm for life ignites and the wonders of the world experienced through the body become a way to revere the great beloved and turn all of life into the temple of love. This oracle also comes with guidance, giving your body rest and healing is most beneficial at this time. There are symptoms you are experiencing, anything from fuzzy headiness to tiredness and aches and pains, as well as shifts in the body temperature that seem unbalanced. And these are directly related, if not solely, to the interaction of your spiritual essence with your sacred animal body. Mm. These will even out under Fatima's grace and protection, like two housemates learning to live together, enhance each other, rather than distract and annoy each other with their quirks and differences. 
This settling in process will happen all the more easily when you ask for the team of help. This article also advises that if you ask for help and protection in any matter, it will be granted. There's no exception to this rule. There's nothing you have done that has made you unworthy of divine intervention, grace, and love. Not one thing ever. Ask, trust, and receive. Sacred honoring ritual. Place one hand on your heart and one on your belly and say the following aloud. The Tima who loves me unconditionally, bless me with your hand of protection and your radiant grace. May I love my body and live my div divinity in totality. My spirit is my body. My body is my spirit. Arahuna ajustuna wa ajustuna arahuna. Yeah. Repeat slowly and carefully three times and rest if you wish to. When you are ready, you have completed your sacred honoring ritual. Okay. So, what else? Um, my blossoming abundance. Purple rain, purple rain coming, right? I'm holding a coin, right? So, four, five, six, right? Strategy. And coming up with a strategy to how you're going to move, how you're going to save, how you're going to create or rebuild or build something new, buy something too, look at some kind of contract here too, or some kind of new, something to bring balance, like, or, like how you're gonna get yourself right, right, coming into, Right, your own stability and daughter romance. So, you know, it's here because it's important to you. Third eye chakra, too, right? So, the temple path, right? Honoring you a lot more than you do in regards to how you maneuver and go about in your relationships, your personal ones, and, and, and really bringing the balancing act into your, your, your most intimate of relations, whether this is work-related or home-related or family-related, marriage-related, um, um, relationship-related, partner-related, like, you know what I mean? Bringing the balance to that with strategy, two, three, holy unity, getting into the truth within you, right? So you got two, two, you got a 21 and a 12, both add up to three, 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 right? Seven, eight, nine, ten, right? And Archangel Ch Ch Chamuel, third chakra, I will read that. That's not it. <laughs> I don't have to bring it to that, so we're not reading all of them. But either way, like, like tapping into to to creating your strategy and implement implement implementations um, creatively. So. And don't sign anything that you don't know. But there's room here for growth. But like also having higher sense of self-value worth in regards to romance too, because there's the temple path for you. Honoring or maybe marriage too, or wanting that and you know, being honest with yourself at that. And so coming up with a strategy that's going to work better for you and start humming more too or moving your body too and like um yeah um right and hey so your attachment to someone because I saw the thinking man underneath that. Your attachment to someone may be unhealthy 
or someone, you know, family, like, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, and so walking away from that which doesn't serve you, and that means engaging too in certain conversations that don't serve, right? Five, five is all about change, door to spirit, right? Because it's leading you back to spirit. It's leading you back to this, taking this action that you have to take for yourself, right? If not you, then do it, not now, then when, right? And having this appreciation for yourself, this is gonna help you. So to like start like stepping up your like self love, regimen and routine and really because this is you right you're holding the woman holding a heart right for the thinking man right who's somewhere else so you put your own thinking woman caps on because you're divinely led guided and protected and you start to strategize how your attachment doesn't serve you and how you can begin to detach. Five is change, five, 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 coming up nine, 10, 11, right? And how can you unify yourself in this world? By traveling through the deceit, the dishonesty, the camouflage, the brushing under the carpet, the false positives, false positivity, right? You're divinely leg guided and protected. Things are gonna start to settle when you start to strategize and make up your mind, okay? So, purple brain. You feel like your life is all over the place. Will it settle down soon? It will settle down as soon as you go to this fork in the road and you decide what it is that you want to do for your next steps too because you have a lot of opportunity here for you, but there's a lot of um, balancing that must come into to play in regards to how you go about and tell yourself the truth and about having to walk away from that which does not serve you at this time okay because it's leading you to your spirit where it's opportunity and there's just something holding you back from making the this the to storm warning right so there's things that like you know so adjacent possibilities the storm is here to to show you that there's more opportunity for you than you think there is because you feel stuck in something. And the stuck in something that you might be stuck in is the mindset of perception that makes you feel like you're stuck in something. You know, a broken heart and, and, and envy here, right? So like, there's just certain kind of truths that that storms are reflective of that which may be left, maybe certain things unexpressed or felt unheard or received and all this kind of stuff. We can express ourselves in so many different kinds of degrees and like, oh, it makes no difference if I say something or not. I said it's like talking to a wall. It's like talking to a wall with this whole motherfucking world. Every single time I say something, it's like, it's like falls on deaf ears, right? And it's just like, how much more? So the storm warning is like when the storms are here, it's because you're, you're settling for that which is I, I, I wanted to say beneath you, like, when you're settling for energies that, um, that don't even meet you on your level still. And so it's like the storm gotta come because something's brewing here, it's brewing, it's brewing, it's brewing. And the breaking of that is in the breaking of your own heart that is breaking open for you to, 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 have it settled down soon, have look at victory too, okay? You have victory. But you have to choose. You have to, you have to, you have to decide. You have to decide. And it's leading you to the door of your spirit. Change.
not now, then when if not you, then who? Well, purple rain, purple rain. Let me pull you one more soul truth, and then I'm gonna keep it moving too. I hope that these messages were helpful to you, and that um, you know, let me know in the comments too. Um, let me know how this message resonated with you and may it serve you on your evolutionary journey that's epic and quantum and dope as fudge just like you you know what i mean so thank you so much again for meeting me here <laughs> and for um being vulnerable enough to share with me a question um and for meeting me here for boring right so do i believe i'm worthy you can see you are worthy, you are deserving, you are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you and go out and claim the life you have dreamt up. Your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it, Maya Angelou. Today's soul action, for a big goal or dream you have, ask yourself, do I feel worthy of this? Today's mantra, I'm worthy of it all. And yes, you are. You are worthy of it all. So decide what is all to you. Because victory is here for you. And that's a beautiful, excitable place of mindset for you to be to know that victory is yours. So when all else gets crazy, victory is yours. So how does victory behave? Victoriously. Woohoo! Hey, thank you, Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Beautiful. So, thank you. So, we're turning the threads of life, spinning in the wheel. Here we go. <laughs> hey, and um, so the next person, the next one that we're going to do is. Pancake! <laughs> Pancake! Pancake! <laughs> Pancake! Okay, Pancake. Will this relationship go to the next level or should I just move on? Woo! This is serious. <laughs> pancake! All right, pancake. Hold up. Okay, so as it turns out, <laughs> so as this turns out, I have to wrap this up. So we're going to start the next video, which will continue all of you because I still have more of you to do um, with pancake. Okay, we're gonna start the next one off with pancake. All right, so. Um, carrot cake and purple rain. I hope these messages serve you wonderfully well. <laughs>